Hey, it's week two of Listening and Mission, and the habit we're learning this week is eating with other people. Eating is really about the biblical value of hospitality. The Bible tells us to be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for some have entertained angels unaware. In the harsh desert world in which the Bible was written, hospitality and eating and drinking with someone literally could mean the difference between life and death. So this whole idea of eating with people has grown into an opulent culture of hospitality in the Middle East. When you travel to the Middle East, you'll find that people are always asking you to eat with them. We were asked to have coffee. We were even asked to attend a wedding in Jordan. It's this whole idea that you are to extend to the stranger, to everyone who comes in your midst, part of your food and drink so that they can get to know you and you can get to know them. We eat with, we'll be eating with three different people this week as well as blessing three different people. This is especially important for our families. Did you know that young children remember three things about growing up later on? They remember holidays, family vacations, and you guessed it, family meals. Jesus was very intentional in his ministry about eating with people, even people that others didn't think he should be eating with. When we sit down to talk about communion, and Jane and I do the class for the uh, first graders, we always ask, what meals are special to you? And then we talk about Jesus's last meal with his disciples and the wonderful meal that he gave us. So this is all really about fellowship. The early church gathered around the tables and ate together and therefore grew together. And we're being asked to reclaim that value this week and indeed as it becomes a habit for the rest of our lives. This, I have to admit that this is the habit that gave me the most stress when I was thinking about it. I was going to have to eat with people. And to me, that kind of triggered my inner Martha, my inner Martha story. How could I get perfect food? How could I make a perfect table? It all became about the food and not about the fellowship. So find ways that are relaxed and easy and fun for you to eat with people. Ask a colleague to work. Meet your child or grandchild at school and get to know their friends. Go for a walk in the neighborhood and then come to your house and have a simple bowl of soup. These are easy ways to not focus on the food because what it's really about is getting to know another person who is made in God's image, gathering around the table as our Lord commands us and extending his wonderful hospitality and showing his love. I hope you'll have a great time blessing people and eating with people this week. Thank you.